Let's discuss the problem of high frequency response of MOSFET amplifier. Find the high frequency of the MOSFET amplifier where the CGD is given 0.1 picofarad. That means CGD means in between gate and here the drain whatever is there that is given that is 0.1 picofarad and then uh, the CGS is 1 picofarad. So in between this it is 1 picofarad and then K is given so uh, vt is given 2 volt and then the vdd is 10 volt and this is nothing but voltage uh, divider by a circuit whatever we have here cc1 cc2 and cs value is not given we are finding only high frequency so these coupling and uh, bypass capacitor are not required at all so given if they give value or if they are not given value it doesn't matter so now we can move on the find that one First, we have to find uh, circuit for the input. So, we have to find out FHI. So, the formula of FHI is 1 divided by 2 pi R equivalent and C equivalent from the previous relations. We know that R equivalent and C equivalent what we got. So, our formula is R equivalent and C equivalent. We got something like that. 1 divided by 2 pi R SI parallel to RTH and then CGS plus CMI. Here the thing is RSI we know that the RSI is given in the RSI is given so it is uh, 10K and then uh, RTH uh, we can find out 234K and 166K uh, we can take parallel and we can find out CGS is given nothing but it is one pico parad no issues. The issue is CMI. So, we know that what is the formula for CMI? CMI is equal to CGD into 1 plus A. So, here we require the gain of the circuit is very very important. So, to find the gain of the circuit, we require the formula is gain A is equal to, we know that, minus GM into RD. But here we have two resistance RD and RL. So, we can take as a RD parallel to RL. So, again the question arises, RD and RL is given but GM is not there. So, find the GM, we have to go for the previous design what we are done in the voltage divider bias. So, we have to go DC design. So, how we can find out GM? In module 1 MOSFET voltage divider bias, we are already designed DC designs. So, there uh, we have uh, similar type of problems. There the all these things given how to find out GM. For just for understanding purpose I can tell you how we can do. GM you can do uh, from the ID and uh, VGS uh, format. So ID divided by VGS. So you have to find out ID and VGS. So finding ID we can use something like VDD minus VDS divided by RD. So this method you can use for ID and VGS you have to use uh, input KVL method and you can identify that. Okay. So I am not going once again with the uh, finding all, all those stuff GM. So you can go through that video and you can identify how to find GM. So here I will take GM value directly from this all relation. So you can use the ID formula one more is card to find VGS you can use it uh, like um, K into VGS minus VT uh, whole square this formula. Anyway, the K is given here and VT is given. So, from that also you can identify the VGS once you find it. Or you can apply the input KVL. Is it possible? You can cross verify. This is the easiest method you can do it. Okay. So, once uh, cross verify the uh, previous problems, you will identify that. I am not going for those uh, part. So, uh, GM you will get after the design of this 1.55 millisecond. So, once you know this one, now find out the gain. So, gain is nothing but minus of this 1.55 into RD parallel to RL, where RD value we know that it is 4K and RL is 20K. From this, uh, you will get as a something like 
one zero. This is the gain value what you are getting. If you are taking negative, so take it negative. Otherwise, you can represent it in the part. Always remember, MOSFET is inverting amplifier, so better to represent gain in always negative direction. So this is what gain you got after the the formula you applied here. Now we can go for the again our aim is to find CMI. So CMI is nothing but CGD into one plus A from the previous relation. A we got 5.10. If you take the answers, you will get as a CGD is nothing but 0.1 picofarad into 1 plus A. So you are getting something 6.1 something. So if you simplify this one, something called 0.61 picofarad. Okay, this is what you are getting as a CMI. Okay, so uh, similar way you have to get C in. So uh, RC equivalent. So C equivalent or C in is nothing but uh, we know that C G S plus C M I here. So uh, C G S plus C M I. If you simplify that one, you will get C G S is given one picofarad. So one picofarad plus point six one picofarad. Okay. So addition you will get as a one point six one picofarad. So this is what you are getting as a stuff. So apply that one into the your formula so now you can find out fhi so fhi is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi and uh, c equivalent we find it so what is r equivalent is nothing but rsi parallel to rth so you can go with this one rsi parallel to rth is nothing but we can uh, take something like here i will do r equivalent so r equivalent is equal to rsi parallel to rth is nothing but r1 parallel to r2 So R1 value is 234. This is R1. This is your R2. And RSI is 10k. So take all the parallel stuff. You will get R equivalent. When I done R equivalent, I got as a 9.28k. So that is I am using here. So 9.28 into 10 to the power of 3, and it is multiply with the 1.61 into picofarad. Okay, 10 to the power of minus 12. So once you simplify this one, you will get as a nearly 11 megahertz. Okay, I'm getting something 10.8 uh, uh, something I got. So you can take 11 megahertz. So this is how the FHI what you got. Similar way you can go for the second case too. Here we can find out FH not. So the formula for the FH not here what we got is. Yeah, fetch not is equal to got one divided by anyway two pi is as it is so R D parallel to R L and C M O okay so here question arises again what is C M O means C M O is nothing but uh, from the uh, previous relation we know that C G D into one plus one divided by y so take the C G D value C G D is uh, given in the our question. 0.1 picofarad, so it is 0.1 picofarad into 1 plus 1 divided by y. That is nothing but uh, y value. What you got? 5.10. Okay. Once you uh, do the simplification of this one, you will get the CM not. I am getting nearly 0.5 picofarad for this. Okay. Nearly, uh, not exactly this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, similar way, we will take R D parallel to R L. So uh, it is nothing but uh, R D is four uh, k. So we can take R equivalent is nothing but R D parallel to R L is nothing but four k parallel to twenty k. Almost you are getting three point three k something. You are getting to the this answer. So if you are uh, taking once again F H O is equal to one divided by two pi. Uh, 3.3 k. That means into 10 to the power of 3 into CMO. Nothing but 0.5 picofarad. Uh, sorry, R equivalent R D parallel to R L. You are not getting 3.3 k. You are getting something called 129.48 k. Okay. Once cross verify these answers and then uh, after that F H O you are getting as a final answer 2.46 mega. So already we discussed that how to take F H is nothing but the minimum of F H 
I, comma, F H naught. So in this case, the minimum is F H naught. We got 2.46. F H I we got 11 mega. So 2.4 mega is minimum. So your F H become 2.46 mega hertz. Okay. So what it uh, the solu summary of this circuit is? If any circuit of this circuit is given, your frequency should be less than 2.46 mega. If it is more than 2.46 mega, the gain is decreases. So gain is not in your control. You want gain according to the your formula. So for this particular circuit, you have to make F H should be that means frequency should be less than 2.46. That is the summary of this problem.